Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming to share with you a few envelopes. It's more like inspiration. This will be not tutorial, this is just sharing how you can decorate and what type of envelopes I'm using in my journals. I've got here a few makes uh, which I made uh, in the last few days. I just tried to do something. And uh, I'm gonna show you a few types of envelopes I'm using mostly in my journals here and there not always so i think the most uh, most of the times i'm using envelopes made from book pages because i do have lots of books which i would like to use in my uh, in my journals and the books are everywhere and those book pages are amazing for making envelopes so i've got here these uh, you can decorate them with laces with uh, the stickers with stamps you know that 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 all that stuff and it's very easy to make all these envelopes there is hundreds of tutorials how you can make envelope i made one for my patreons with envelopes and i made few here on 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 youtube in the past so there is so many uh, tutorials how you can make envelopes and these I just decorated with washi tapes mostly <laughs> and some stickers very easy way because then uh, when my journal it's fully decorated I want to have there something you know less decorated I have to say then uh, envelopes from magazines or book pages or which are kind of like new books these can be beautiful as well well here I used uh, book pages from uh, artistic book about uh, urban design and I really love those images they are so gorgeous they are exactly style which I love so I made these large envelopes and I hope they will fit into my journal using these uh, book pages that's why I made that's why I made those envelopes and you can use the very simple decoration as you can see on these envelopes I did use just strips, those perforated strips, uh, some postmarks and on the back uh, just eyelets and string. Uh, I will distress it when I will have a book itself to match it all together but that base was made pretty simple. I am mostly leaving my envelopes and uh, inserts without heavy distressing because I'm not sure how I will end up with my journals so that's why <laughs> My envelopes and inserts are not too much distressed because uh, in the end I'm kind of trying to match it with the journal itself. And this is another one exactly from same book with those heavy kind of like uh, glossy coated papers and I actually like it. And this is that coin envelope and I used also stamp, uh, sewing and embossing on this, uh, on this one. And as a decoration I used a few images from uh, other old books. Then beautiful bags you can use uh, from baking paper or glossing paper and they are wonderful. They are uh, semi-transparent and uh, they are just perfect. These uh, have been printed on a laser printer and I really love that effect but uh, sometimes can happen that <laughs> when you kind of like... Um, uh, fold it too hard you can break that paper so be careful if your paper it's very fragile like it's mine so I will have to stack, uh, stick some label over it but these are really gorgeous and I really love them but uh, true is I'm not using them often I will have to start them much more often and then paper from manila papers I love these papers those manila papers they are kind of matching with most of my journals so I used again embossing folders to make there you know that uh, touching effect that texture and then I used uh, stamps and uh, labels and washi tapes to decorate it in the style which will be matching most of my journals and here I used just ledger papers as you can see just ledger papers as a base and then I used again some stickers and stamps and washi tapes to decorate it very easily you can use uh, 
laces and flowers it depends what kind of general you are making and again i use those embossing folders i think that embossing gives to our uh, envelopes such a beautiful effect that embossing is just a stunning thing and of course you can create your envelopes from decorative paper and I think they are amazing if you are using some decorative paper 12 by 12 or printed papers they are mostly so stunning designs every time when I see uh, handmade envelopes in junk journals I am I am amazed how beautiful they looks like from you know from your designs from printed papers from uh, you know the, those artistic designs and they are always so gorgeous so here i used some of these designs to print at my simple envelopes and this is made from square uh, paper and this is made from rectangle paper it's very easy to make these and of course i've got a few more of these simple this is like a coin envelope a very simple envelope you just need a long strip of paper you're gonna fold one side of that paper a little bit uh, deeper and that other side keep shorter so that other side will be flap of your envelope and here i just used my sewing machine and i simply stitched that paper around so with that sewing i created my envelope but you can use glue and just glue those sides that's very simple pocket and use decorative papers it can make such a beautiful insert in your journals here one more in that style with embossing folder and here i added also that sewing all around and it's so beautiful and it makes really amazing uh, insert in your journals and here i played a little bit more i do love windows uh, i do love uh, you know see-through pages and i do love pockets so much and if you saw my journals you, you saw it that i'm using uh, often frames or those you know acetate uh, acetate pieces like see-through so here i created few envelopes which have uh, that window see-through window and here i use that design inside of my envelope exactly because i wanted to see something uh, through to that window i have created then i use that off cut from here i use it here to decorate my my envelope and this one i decorate just very uh, not too much i want to say not too much i wanted to keep it kind of like very plain it's not plain plain but i <laughs> not overloaded here i used a triangle to create my pocket inside of this envelope and then i use the triangle which i cut from here i use it here to create another pocket so we do have envelope with a pocket and again it's very simple just folding uh, rectangle rectangle paper and we have this one and again i use just washi tapes and stamps to decorate it and these i really enjoyed to make these uh, they are again with windows uh, here i used stencils and i created with that off cut from here i have created another pocket here and i just add the laces and washi tapes and the, all those stamps and sewing around so this i really enjoyed and then those these are beautiful designs i shared those designs with my patreons few weeks ago and i, I just felt that i need to play with those designs <laughs> because i shared them so here i use designs from my papers as a main point of that uh, of that pocket or of that envelope all of them are made like top loaded something like coin envelopes and i cut the paper around those flowers so i do have window envelopes with the flowers like a main point and if i will put something inside i think it will be amazing if it will be peeking out so i can see a part here and part here same is with this envelope here i just swap the direction of the flap on this envelope the flap is going back so this is my envelope and again i did uh, a lot of sewing on this envelope and some small decoration and these labels and here i wanted to have that flap to the front kind of like you know match all that design 
and I do have window here on the top of that envelope and again I did sewing all around to have that, that sewing effect I added this beautiful trim and did few layers so you can really play with your envelopes you can uh, decorate it really well with uh, any kind of embellishments you like so here we have again just beautiful pocket using kind of in cut in your design and again I do have few layers here on the bottom sewn paper and uh, trim and this beautiful metal label so uh, just play with your paper I, I do believe that you will enjoy it because it's so gorgeous it's so easy to make envelopes and it's so gorgeous to enjoy that embellishment that embellishing and if you are preparing maybe birthday card and if you will put that birthday card in some kind of envelope like this I do believe that the receiver will be so happy so this is my sharing for today it's just talking and showing you a few envelopes it's uh, just showing just maybe small inspiration what you can do with your scraps because you don't need huge paper to create envelopes you need just small uh, small paper here I created actually a window as well I forgot <laughs> that I do have window here as well teeny mini small window on the bottom so you can really play uh, with your scraps and create even small pockets and uh, even with materials they don't have to be from <clears throat> from a paper beautiful envelopes are made from fabric as well uh, and I made few for my journals in the past I didn't make them for a long time so probably I will have to start to make them again because it's such a fun to create fabric envelopes so this is my sharing for today I hope you found some inspiration I hope you will grab your supplies and grab your stuff <clears throat> and maybe some off cuts some scraps and you will create your envelopes. Thank you so much for visiting me today. Thank you so, so much for spending your time with me. Have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself. And I will see you soon. Bye.